1921 days, I could see and hear still clearly. I would see a very big drawing that I would not tell from A to Z. And the drawing was made of everything that God has created. And they heard heaven say, this is the heart of God. It was made of gold, precious stones, wood, everything. It was made of veins, flesh, everything. I say the heart of God, I am finished today. I remembered, I saw Shekinah glory and I could not exist taken to heaven. For well, half of the blueprint was judgment, terrifying judgment. And half of the blueprint was terrifying mercy. But now here comes a drawing. And the drawing, I was told it is the heart of God. I cannot tell from A to Z. But the drawing was being drawn for more than three hours. And as it kept on being drawn, made of everything that he has created, I heard the heavens say, this is the heart of God. And severally, I say, I am finished. The heart of God, I am finished. Lord, you want to finish me today? You finished me on 22nd of May, 2010, when I beheld Shekinah glory. I would not exist. Whew. The heavens was just written in Hebrews 4.12. And the Holy Spirit was saying, for the word of God is living, and the word of God is active. And the fire, thunder, lightning was in calving all over the galaxies and everything that God created. And so when it is a dividing the spirit and the soul, phew, I joined the eternity, terrifying, terrifying holiness, tangibly. And if I died, I knew I was going to hell. And if that is God, and if that is God, let me tell you, few, very few will see him. If this is the God of Elijah, that three weeks ago came melting everything like wax in this sanctuary, including me, if that is God that consumes by fire, very few will see the narrow gate. Very few. If that is the God that we serve, whose heart I could not tell from pale to head. And I kept on looking at the throw drawing for three hours. Finished. Finished. No strength. By Satise, he heard the voice that came from this side, pointing at the heart of God, and I heard the voice of a man, a voice that carried thunder, fire, and lightning. As it was pointing at the heart of God, he said, And you will restore everything the enemy has stolen from her in her nation, Kenya. You better give love to Jesus. I love to Jesus. When I am preaching about the spirit and the power of Elijah, I am not preaching about a vacuum. Inside my body, my being, my soul, feels the spirit and the power of Elijah. Do I have charismatic people in the house of Shekinah today? Let there be the angelic ghost. Let the chariots of fire begin to quarakataka, 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 kaga, kaga, kaga.
A revolution does not come without the spirit and the power of Elijah. There can never be a revolution without the spirit and the power of Elijah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth impressed, bowed down and submitted to his cousin John the Baptist and he said what do you see in the desert? What do you see? What do you think about John the Baptist? He said a prophet he said yes and more than a prophet if you liked it he is the Elijah When John the Baptist was beheaded, the spirit of Elijah and the power of Elijah had to enter into a man. And that man was Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Make no mistake. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The first revolution was the revolution of the spirit and the power of Elijah. I don't have the witnesses of Jehovah Shekinah today. I say Jesus Christ of Nazareth was having a revolution and was changing the world and was making in this in baptizing disciples by the spirit in the power of Elijah. And King Herod say, didn't we kill with Didn't we kill John the Baptist? Isn't that John the Baptist dead? He thought he died. He thought he perished. He beheaded John the Baptist. Why? There was one spirit that wanted John the Baptist through a woman in that spirit was the spirit of Herodias, the spirit of Queen Jezebel. The Babylon spirit, the murdering spirit, the murderous prophets. I have good news for you that John the Baptist had to die so that the spirit and the power of Elijah could go to the Lord Jesus Christ. And Herod, King Herod said, I am hearing and I am seeing miracles, signs and wonders being done by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It means the spirit that was in John the Baptist and the power that was in John the Baptist has entered into Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is why saints, wonders, miracles are happening. There can never be a revolution without the spirit and the power of Elijah, which came first. Jesus Christ of Nazareth or the spirit and the power of Elijah. Which came first? Who was there first? Who was there first? Power can never be bestowed on a person until that person must know who they are. Amen? He will restore everything the enemy has stolen from man. Including our nation, Kenya. It is only people that single handedly can pray for this nation with the purposes and the agenda of God that can bring revival in this nation. It is not a crowd. It is not a crowd. God is looking for the Simeons, God is looking for the Hannahs that was fasting for 71. Yes. Hannah, by 21 years, lost the husband. 71 years, she was in the house of Shekinah, day 
and night fasting. How do you read your Bible? Fasting and praying. Fasting and praying. Can somebody fast and pray for 71 years? Yes. Praise the Lord. Didn't you hear that Hannah was in the house of God 71 years? She was not 71 years. It is 71 years plus 21 years. Praise the Lord. When God gives you an assignment, you must make sure that you fulfill your assignment. When we talk about dominion, it means God has given you an assignment and God has anointed you with great acceleration for that assignment. And you must walk on top of your enemies. You must pursue your enemies. You must make sure that you are going fast, your enemies, overtaking them, overtaking them, overtaking them. <laughs> You have come to the house of Shekinah today because the Spirit of God has enabled you to come to the house of Shekinah to get the spirit of a man that God loved so much. Realize I have not speaking about this, the, the Holy Spirit. I am talking about the spirit of Elijah in the power of Elijah. There's a difference between the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of Elijah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was born by the power of the Holy Spirit. John the Baptist also was also born by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh. I salute you, Master, because Jesus Christ, as he entered into that amphitheater two years ago, we were in Nazareth with Prophet T.B. Joshua one and a half years ago. And I would stand there and I would see the cliff when Jesus Christ came from Jericho after 40 days of fasting. He walked for around 260 miles or 300 kilometers. Walked past Jerusalem. Walked through the mountains and came right to Nazareth to a place called the Amphitheater, which is there right now on top on Mount Precipice. And declared that I am nothing without one. I am nothing without the Holy Spirit. And he declared, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me. The Spirit of great mind, the Spirit of great understanding, the Spirit and the power of Elijah. Hallelujah. During the mountain of transfiguration, before Jesus Christ of Nazareth was crucified, two witnesses appeared. One was having the spirit of Elijah, which was the prophet Elijah, and he is in the house of the Shekinah glory today. <laughs> Another witness appeared also in Tuketa, they came standing uh, and came stamping a revolution because there was going to be a revolution. They knew that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was going to resurrect and he was going to, it was going to be a revolution. And so these two cloud of witnesses, always when there is a major event, including the rapture that is coming, they must appear. In the book of Malachi, chapter 5 and chapter 4, it speaks of the spirit of Elijah going ahead of rapture to 
you restore the children back to the father. Revelation chapter 11 verse 3. He speaks of two clouds of witnesses. And the same with the mosaic anointing. And with the Elijah's revolution. He say in the last days. And the almighty God will also impart the same spirit. The spirit of Elijah and the mosaic anointing. And the mosaic anointing is a Shekinah glory that is in the house of Shekinah. And whoever wants to kill them, fire will come from our mouths, consuming the enemy, consuming the enemy. When I am saying Satan has lost seven heads, I am not joking. And you are like woman of God, where were the heads? That is not your business. Your business is just to know that the spirit of Elijah slaughters and slaughters like nobody business. It is slaughters without mercy. Appreciate the Lamb of God. Lift your hands up. And today you will restore everything the kangaworms and the moths have eaten from us, O oh God of Elijah. By the spirit of Elijah and the power of Elijah, hear my voice. I am your child, I am your servant, I am your oracle. Restore everything that we have lost. Give him praise, glory, and honor. And it came to pass when the Lord was about to take up Elijah. Second Kings chapter 2. And it came to pass when the Lord Shekinah, the God of Israel. Elohim is his name, Adonai. Is his name was about to take up Elijah into heaven by a wild wind. By a wild wind. By a wild wind. That Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Number one, right Gilgal. Then Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me on to Bethel. Right, number two, Bethel. Right, Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives, number two, as your soul lives. I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. Now the sons of the prophets who were at Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from, from over you today? In Bethel. And he said, Yes, I know. Keep silent. Then Elisha said to him, Elisha, stay here, please, for the Lord Shekinah has sent me unto Jericho. But he said, as the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho, right number three, Jericho. Now the sons of the prophets who were at Jericho came to Elijah and said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? So he answered, Yes, I know. Keep silent. Verse 6. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, please. For the Lord has sent me on to you, the Jordan. But he said, as the Lord lives, and as your son lives, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on, and the fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood facing them at a distance. 
While the two of them stood by the Jordan, now Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water. And it was divided this way and that way, so that the two of them crossed over to the dry ground. Right number four, Jordan. And so it was when they had crossed over the, that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask. Ask, 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 what may I do for you before I am taken away from you? Hmm. And Elijah said, please, let me have a double portion of your spirit, of your spirit, of your spirit. Realize not your anointing, of your spirit. Let your double portion be upon me. So he said, you have asked the hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if not, it shall not be so. Then it happened as they continued on and talked. That suddenly, suddenly, a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire. Suddenly, a chariot of fire, a chariot of fire appeared with horses, horses of fire, and separated the two of them. And the light went up by a wild wind into heaven. Give Jesus your praise. <sighs> Chilkal! was not a place of double portion. Why? Elijah knew that his servant Elijah needed the spirit of double portion. This man was a great father. And he knew that if he was going to impart his anointing and his spirit to Elijah, it was not in Gilgal. Gilgal in Israel is a place where a man got finished. Manna got finished in Gilgal. The children of Israel were walking with the same sandal and the same sandals and the shoes could not wear off. The Bible say the same sandal was just growing. As their feet was growing, the sandals was also growing. And so Gilgal was not a place of double portion. If he was a mean father, he would have released his anointing in Gilgal. But because he was walking and walking with the chariots of fire, and his spirit and his power was in the midst of the chariots of fire, he was telling them, them wait a minute, it is not here. And when they reach the Kilkal, he said, Tarish here. And because he needed nothing but a double portion. And because he was a prophet and he could see his heart, he needed nothing but a double portion. He cried, Oh, God of Abraham, I second Jacob. Where you next? And the Lord, God Almighty, directed him. To Bethel. Realize in your life that there is a time in your life when everything will always be provided. Yani mungu atako pembeleza aguinue utaonanga tu supernatural vile unataka. Vile unataka. Lakini itafikia mali Hiyo mkono wa Mungu inatoka na utoto inaisha na Mungu anakuambia sasa maana imeisha wewe sasa utatoa chasho kulima chini ndio watu wako wakule So the double portion was not in Gilgal 
Why? Chilka now became a place of desolation. No food. And so when the children of Israel, the same children of Israel that were mocking manna, and mocking that manna coming down, the meat coming down, and the food coming down, it got finished in Gilgal. They had to start hard work. Hard work in Gilgal. And so the place of impartation was not in Gilgal. Today, I am tampering with the lion of the tribe of Chua. He normally stays here. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him praise. And so they went again to Bethel. When they reached Bethel, Elijah, by the spirit of Elijah, in the eyes of Elijah, could not see the chariots of fire from heaven. And those chariots of fire that carried the double portion of the anointing. He looked and he saw there were no additions from God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There was no wild wind in Bethel. Bethel was dry. No wild wind waiting for him from heaven. Looked at his servant and he saw Nothing, you needed nothing but the double portion of his spirit. And because he was pursuing God very dangerously, and he was a good servant, the Bible says Elijah was a wonderful servant. Realize that after he came from Mount Horeb, right he heard the voice. After the artwork, the voice of God was not in the artwork. After the violence, the voice of God was not in the wild wind. The voice of God was in a still small voice. And when he heard the still small voice, immediately the presence of God and the Shekinah glory came upon him. And he knew God was with him. There was no desolation and there was no dryness again. And when the spirit Spirit of the Lord God Almighty was upon him, and the hand of God was upon him. He shook up and say, "Now I can face my assignment, going back to destroy that Queen Jezebel." <laughs> right from Mount Horeb, the Almighty God instructed Elijah to go and anoint three people. The first person to be anointed was a king. What was the name of the king? Elijah was told to anoint three personalities. What was the first personality? Hazel was a king of where? A king of? A king of? Haram. A king of Syria. Please salute him. Come on! Chief credit to whom credit this is deserved. A king of Syria. What was the name again? Azel. Amen. The second personality was who? Say King Jehu. There's a difference between Jehu and King Jehu. There's a difference between Miriam and Prophet Miriam. Hello. Realize most of the time I am not prophetess. I am prophet. I am an apostle. Hey. Hello. There is a difference between Elijah and, and, and Prophet Elijah. Was she Elijah or Prophet Elijah at that time? Let's talk, let's talk. It was Elijah. Clap for yourself. Why were these three people anointed? He was told today you're going to anoint these three personalities. 
Asael, the king of Syria, King Jehu, and Elisha. So that when the sword of the king of East Syria, when Queen Jezebel escapes the sword of Ahasael, that king, Queen Jezebel will not escape the sword of King Jehu. And if she escapes the sword of Queen Je King Jehu, she will not escape the sword of Elisha. This means the principality that you call a woman and that a man ran from is not a small principality. And this principality had seven kingly devils and demons. People that carry this Jezebelic spirit have seven times all over and they have seven kingly spirits. Today, the seven spirits have been chopped off. By the time Elijah reached Elisha, the spirit of the sovereign Lord was seriously upon him. So seriously upon him, and because the Holy Ghost came through the still small voice, in the spirit and the voice of Elijah, when he just reached this place, where is the mantle? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Shakala bradusika da bada bada bada. Dididibusika da bada basha. He just looked at Elisha from very far. He said, Elisha, come, follow me. While Elisha was still wondering what is happening, what is happening, what is happening, what is happening, what is happening. Son, would you stand here? Clap for it. St stand here looking, looking at me. Looking at me. Elijah was still wondering what is happening. But when the mantle, hmm? when the mantle of Elijah, praise the Lord, he took his mantle because he looked at this man he was not getting. He did not even dream about it. And so he realized this man cannot get it. He has to impart it. And through the impartation, look at the man and say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this is the mantle of Elijah. He proves for help. You may have your seat. Have your seat. Give Jesus praise. Shake a lebradu, Sakarabadada. What do you Jesus? Everybody like you, Lord. Hey. You may not have been having children, but the Lord is locating you. Just like the Shunammite woman. When the Shunammite woman was not having a child, Elisha reached there, and the Shunammite woman was very strong, yet she was not having a child. Lived with the husband, just like you, for many years. By the spirit and the power of Elisha, go and get your children. It is finished! Yeah! What 
bless you, Jesus. Come on, Elijah, Lord. Shaka la bradosi. Do I have a, somebody that is barren in the house of Shekaina today? You don't have a child. Somebody that has been in a marriage for seven years. They don't have children. Hmm? Line up, line up, Helgis. Line up, somebody, please, Emmanuel, line up like this. Line up, just line up like this. Hey! What did I tell you? Nobody likes you, Lord. Hey! Nobody likes you, Jesus. Nobody likes you, Lord. Shekala Bradosi. All of you don't have children? You don't have children? Are you, are you ready for the children? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of Elijah, receive. Look. What is the name of the praise plate? Overtake forward. Overtake is 2020. Forward is 2021. Overtake. Go and have your children. This back sapping in your life. Just touch here. Just bring them. Bring them calm. Let me just pray with them. Choose to forgive. Say, I choose to forgive. I forgive, Lord. I forgive. I bless. I forgive. Now, breathe in. Holy Spirit, lift your voice up. Lift your heart up and begin to forgive. Lift your heart up and begin to forgive. Father, we forgive, Almighty God. We choose to release them and we bless. We forgive, we release and we bless in the name of Jesus. I forgive Almighty God. We release them, Lord, totally. And we bless them in the name of Jesus. We choose to forgive them. So that we receive in Jesus' name. Go and overtake. Stretch your hand, please. Receive in Jesus' name. Go and overtake. Stretch your hand, please. Receive in Jesus' name. Go and overtake. Go and overtake. <laughs> it is finished. Congratulations. Go and overtake. It is finish congratulations go and overtake it is finish overtake forward in the name of jesus christ go and have your children increase and multiply for the glory of god the god of israel shekinah is his name are there people in the house of Shekinah that have terminal diseases? There's no God like Jehovah. 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 It's no God like Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive your shilling. 
as the spirit and the power of Elijah. Everything dead in your life is receiving the power of resurrection. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the spirit and the power of Elijah. Everything dead in your life is being resurrected. It is finished. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Covenant keeping God. By the Spirit and the power of Elijah. Everything dead in your life is receiving the power of resurrection. It's not God like Jehovah. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, is a high priest of Shekinah. Everything dead in your life has been resurrected. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive. Congratulations. Whatever the enemy has taken from you, by the spirit and the power of Elijah, the power of resurrection, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are not receiving it. Take it. <sighs> Worshipper of Jehovah. Everything dead in your life is receiving the power of resurrection. The power of resurrection that resurrected the Lord Jesus Christ. It is finished. Whatever the devil has taken in the mouths and the kang of worms has eaten in your life. The power of resurrection that resurrected the Lord Jesus Christ is replacing it. It is finished in Jesus' name. It's not God like Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thou power that resurrected the Lord Jesus Christ Resurrect every dead in our life. It is finished. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thou power that resurrected the Lord Jesus Christ. By the spirit and the power of Elijah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive. The spirit of Maria Woodward. Catherine Coleman. Amy Marcos Sembe. John Chilek. That is in my life. The spirit that resurrects everything dead in your life. It is finished. You're receiving testimonies of your life. For the glory of the Lord God of Israel. Every spirit of mockery in powers of darkness have been destroyed. Jesus is mending your broken heart. The spirit and the power of Elijah. It is finished. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Receive the power of resurrection. Whatever the devil has taken has been restored. By the spirit and the power of Elijah. It is finished. The oracle power is here. The oracle of Shekinah. By the spirit and the power of Elijah, instant testimony, it is finished. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive your testimonies, spirit of Elijah. In the power of Elijah, resurrection, resurrection, resurrection. It is finished. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, it is finished. In battle, uh, there was no double portion of anointing. It was not in battle. 
And when Abraham reached Bethel, he built an altar of God. And when Abraham built an altar of God, later on his grandson Israel reached there, also built another altar. It was not in Bethel. Bethel was not a place that was going to be the double portion of the anointing. Realize that it was not in Bethel. In Jericho, it was not also in Jericho. Because right in Jericho, Jericho was cast by one man, King Joshua. And somebody that built Jericho lost his two sons. And so they were overtaking anointing. In the overtaking, breaking breakthroughs, anointing was not in, Cher in Jericho. Do I know Jericho? Yes, I've been there. Elijah walked again from Jericho to River Jordan. There is part of River Jordan actually in Jericho. It's, uh, there is River Jordan moving all the way through Nazareth, 300 kilometers, right down in Jericho. And so in Jericho, things were very hard. God was not there to give the double portion. And so they walked to Jordan. Realize, according to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1, even you, you are predestined to be alive. And you are predestined to be in this meeting today. And before its creation, the, the double portion of the anointing was going to take place in across River Jordan. We all know that the river Jordan was predestined for the Holy Ghost to come down when Jesus Christ of Nazareth was being baptized. So yes, across Jordan, the place of impossibilities, as they crossed Jordan, it was in Jordan. Immediately, Elijah saw, looked up and saw the wild wind ready for him. But because he was a father, now he started talking to him and he asked him, what can I do for you? A blank check. What can I do for you before I go to heaven? Elijah, by the spirit and the power of Elijah, was a great prophet. The almighty God ensured that the prophetic seer's anointing was thorough. The Bible has been showing us that this man would see life, life. With the love of a father, in, in being pursued by this Elisha man, he had to cooperate with the Almighty God. When the mantle of Elijah touched Elisha, he knew that the power beyond the power has touched him. It was not only the voice, it was the mantle that touched him. When Elijah threw his mantle to Elisha, that anointing rubbed on him very dangerously. And he told him, I do not want to come back because I have to finish with these 12 oxen, slaughtered all the bulls, left his job, made sure there was no going back to his activities. Followed the man that was having the anointing. The dominion anointing is not the absence of the chariots of fire. You must at least see physically that there are chariots of fire around you. Why? Prophet Elijah was a man that was working with a great dominion anointing. And he could say something and it happens. Why? The chariots of fire were working for him. What is the use of the Almighty God creating chariots of fire for what? Chariots of fire are angelicals that carry fire for us, to work for us, to help us. 
I am very sure that the chariots of fire are not intended to serve God in heaven. The chariots of fire are intended to serve humanity in this earth. What is the use of the almighty God creating angelic hosts for what? Creating angelic hosts that are supposed to serve us. These angelic hosts are supposed to serve us. And God is looking for men and women that are carriers of the spirit of Elijah. And today God is going to deposit the same spirit and the same power in you. So that when you walk by this spirit, you will say by this time tomorrow, by this time next year. I remember when I was 23 years old, just joining Kenya Commercial Bank. I was a prophet and one lady that I loved so much and was not having a child for good 13 years. I prayed one time, came out, and I told her, that says the Lord, you will have a child by this time next year. And the name of the child will be called Kidion. The name of the child will be called Kidion. Exactly, exactly one year, she became pregnant, gave birth, exactly. she became pregnant that same week or same day. In one year, she gave birth to Gideon, and Gideon is in Nairobi University, as I am talking now. And because she loved prophecy, and she was a, a woman that loved the Lord so much, she called her child two names, Gideon and Kalia. Kalia means the Lord of peace, Jehovah Shalom. And realize Kidion raised an altar. And the name of the altar was Tevova Shalom. Lift your hands. Everyone that is going to get pregnant after this. After this by the spirit and the power of Elijah. You will call your name Kidion. It means Tevova Shalom as and the Lord of all peace has reigned in your life. All of you that have gotten the overtaking and the forward anointing by the spirit and the power of Elijah, you will receive your children and their names will be called Gideon or Jehovah Shalom. If your children are girls, call them peace or Jehovah Shalom. If they are boys, call them Chidion. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? So that you don't call your child something else. Give him praise, glory, and honor. I have been baptized in River Jordan twice. I know where Jordan is. Baptized twice. And nations go to River Jordan just for that same historic activity. You see where Jesus was baptized, where the purple portion of the anointing, the Holy Ghost, came upon upon Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just the same way as John the Baptist has seen the Holy Spirit, I have seen the Holy Spirit with my eyes, with my life, with my everything. And when I beheld the personality of the Holy Spirit, I was converted into a two-year-old Pokot girl. Two-year-old. Why a two-year-old? Because the carrier, the omnipotent father of mercy, his name is the Holy Spirit, is the carrier of the kingdom of God. And you look at our drawing, you will see the carrier of the kingdom of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You see, this is just an example of the Holy Ghost. This is the Ark of the Covenant. Inside the Ark of the Covenant is a kind of glory anointing. 
coming out of the ark of the covenant is the burning cross this all jesus showed me and resting on the burning cross is the bible which is hebrews 4 12 the word of god is living and the word of god is active and that is why when you take the shekinah glory anointed waters immediately you partake of the kingdom of god and that is when you see people saying they have received instant breaking breakthroughs in this is also a blueprint and the blueprint is what you see here what came out of this blueprint are seven colors of rainbow submerging together and forming a blueprint out of the blueprint runs glory you believe in the God of Elijah. He rescues by fire. This is fire thunder lightning. Lift your hands up. Say, Almighty God. Give me the grace to forgive. I choose to forgive now. And I bless them. Put your hands now. As I partake of this anointed water, I am in all your spirits. As you just entered those gates, you have entered into the house of Shekinah. You remove the issues possessing the anointing in the house. Are you ready? When I just take these anointed waters, I take on your behalf every wound, every calamity, every problem is going to be destroyed. Miracles, signs, and wonders immediately will take place. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are your children, O oh, Father Abraham. And we are children of faith by the Spirit and the power of Elijah. As I partake of this anointed water, everybody here also is partaking. And Elijah cried, Give me double portion of your Spirit. And by the spirit and the power of Elijah, as I partake this anointing, your people also are partaking the double portion. Elijah told Elijah, if you will only see me, if your eyes will see me, you got it. If you will not see me, you are not a prophetic seer. But if you see me, you have already gotten the double portion. Behold, he saw the chariots of uh, the chariot of fire in in the angelic host surrounding. Part of the angelic host remained with him, and part of the angelic host took him by the whirlwind to heaven. I close my eyes. I see the same chariots of fire here. I see <coughs> clouds of witnesses that are burning with fire. By the spirit and the power of Elijah, every manner of diseases and everything satanic that has it in attacking our lives, including the spirit of Queen Jezebel, you wicked enemy of prophets. So you partake of this anointing that carries Mount Sinai anointing, carries Mount Carmel's anointing, it is finished. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord.
It is done. It is done, says the Lord. Thank God for your healing. Thank God for your deliverance. carry this spirit and deep this power you will always be affected by people's elements the spirit of Elijah lives it also lives in the children of Shekinah that is why he told Kehasi wasn't my spirit with you by the time you're going to get what is not good my spirit was with you, O oh, Kehasi. Next week, it is going to be very powerful. We have been speaking about a spirit, the spirit and the power of Elijah, the spirit and the power of Elijah. But the next week is going to be very powerful. The spirit of Elijah is a spirit of an intercessor, great intercessor. But next week we will be imparting, in time we will personally be imparting the power of Elijah. For two weeks, next week I will be imparting the power of Elijah. Thank you Lord for the cross. I see the cross. I will be imparting the power of Elijah. And what is the power of Elijah? The acts, the demonstration of the power of God. The manifestation of the power of God. Number one, there is going to be the power of resurrection that everything in your life must resurrect <laughs> next week. By the spirit of the double portion, the first miracle was sold. Jericho was a place, a desert place. Jericho is a place of torture even now. People don't walk during daytime. We just went there and I was like, God, oh, where is the place? Staggering because the sun is too hot. It is said it is the lowest part, the lowest, deepest part of the world. Very hot, deep, Jericho. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so in Jericho, these people cried because the water was too, too, too salty salty and the water was bad. Elijah took salt, put in the water. And so that is a demonstration of the first power. That everything, including your environments, including everything around you, will be resurrected. I will not use salt. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so that was the first miracle. The dry ground became fertile. In this ministry, we have been using the anointed water, anointed oil. And we tell you, go anoint your home, go anoint your village, go anoint your... It carries the highest anointing, this ministry. 